Hello everyone, it's Keenan here, and today we are taking a look at a beauty of a device, the Predator Triton 300 SE, and that stands for Special Edition. Very powerful, but with some strong considerations for user experience. If you travel a lot or are on the go, you have to pack in your bags, and then you have to put in your heavy gaming laptop, and you have to do that forearm little grip when you pull it in and out. You won't have to do that for the Triton 300 SE, as it weighs just 1.7 kilograms and is 17.9 millimeters thin. A great example of truly portable power that won't weigh you down or get in your way. And to cap it off, the Triton 300 SE can support up to nine hours of battery life. Yeah, you heard me. That is incredible for a device like this. Not only is it easy to move around, you can reliably expect it to have power on the go. The specs are very capable, so whether you're into content creating or gaming, it will put in the graft. You have a lot of options to choose from if you're interested in the i5 or the i7, eight gigabytes of RAM, and that goes all the way to 24. For graphics cards, you have the RTX 3050 Ti or the RTX 3060. And for storage, it goes from 512 gigabytes all the way to one terabyte. The flexibility of the build can afford you some options, but with whatever components you go for, you'll be set with a very versatile machine, thanks to some other features, which we'll get to in a moment, because first, my favorite part of these videos, the game tests. The Triton 300 SE is lightweight and perfect for those games you can whack out on a lunch break or on a train journey. CSGO and Valorant come to mind, you know, a couple of rounds of those, or my personal favorite Rocket League, five minutes a match, you can get a couple of those in as well. You've got those RPGs that you have to easily grind long-term, you know, keep up on, your World of Warcrafts, your Destiny 2s. How about all those indie games? Hades, Celeste, those 50 others you downloaded on the Steam Summer Sale. This laptop has you covered. But we're not just going to talk about it, we did do some actual tests, and here are the results. We tested four games at 1080p. For Destiny 2, we're getting around 90 to 120 frames per second, and for that game, that is quite impressive. For Apex and Valorant, we're getting around 100 plus, and for Warzone, a bit of a trickier game to run, we're getting around 70 to 80, which is still better than console, so definitely playable. But games aside, the Triton 300 SE would be great for productivity. It has Wi-Fi 6, which is basically next-gen Wi-Fi. It's optimized for those crowded spaces where everyone's competed for bandwidth, like at a cafe or an airport. It would be like your laptop is flying in first class. There's also a Thunderbolt 4 port, which, are you ready for this, allows up to 8K video support. I don't know who's watching Netflix with that at the moment, but it definitely helps in the long run. But it's not just for video output. Thunderbolt 4 allows you to connect to more powerful peripherals than ever before. Laptops are leaning in this direction, so this will become more readily available. This means you can have your long battery life for your train journeys, and then when you get to home or at work, you can plug it into your more pro equipment, like your cameras, your phones, your mixers, your mice, even external GPUs. Whatever you've got, you'll have the flexibility to use it and at next-gen speeds. Next, let's talk about cooling. It's cooled by Acer's patented Aeroblade dual fan system with wing-guided vortex flow technology. Big words, yes. This means you'll get up to a third more efficiency in your performance than compared to other fans of the same size. Also, there's a dedicated heat pipe for the GPU and CPU each, which means you can get even more cooling efficiency. And it's quite rare to see that in a laptop. Thanks, Acer. In conclusion, if you're the type of gamer who likes power and versatility on the go with next-gen connectivity options, the Triton 300 SE might just be for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. I've been Keenan. thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.